Hi there, so at this point we have reached the end of this training and I would like to conclude this training just by giving this kind of conclusion, okay? I think we address all this during the whole training since week one until the end, we talk about this very important no conclusion. So remember, good mesh, good results. Start robustly and end with accuracy, meaning that your final solution needs to be second order accurate, okay? And this is valid not only for open phone, but with any other CFD solver. Stability, accuracy, and boundedness play by these terms and you will succeed. And we address that in lecture six. Very important, especially for you if you are a beginner, do not sacrifice accuracy and stability over computing speed. Many people want to get faster solution and true, I can help you I, and I can give you a few tips to, to give you faster solution, but you are losing accuracy, okay, and stability. And remember, at the end of the day, we want a good solution, okay? We want something accurate and stable, something that that we can use to draw conclusions. And finally, select wisely boundary conditions. This is in particular very important in OpenFOM because this can be a little bit confusing in OpenFOM because you have all that pool of boundary conditions, many options, okay? So take your time, read the documentation or what we have in the source codes using phone info and understand what they do, okay? And also, just to add here that I mentioned funny info, uh, rely on that to a lot because you see that it can give you a lot of information, okay? Probably sometimes it doesn't tell you a lot, but it will tell you where the source code is located so you can then can go there and open not your source code. Uh, many of these conclusions also that I'm showing you here applies with general CFD, okay? So this is not only specific to uh, open for if you are using any other CFD code, you know that you need good meshes to get good results, you need second order accurate solutions, stability, accuracy, and boundaries that is critical, and you can control that in every single CFD solvers. And also, do not sacrifice accuracy and stability over computing time. Okay, so that means that you will need to have good accuracy, you will need to uh, you, you uh, good axial and relative tolerances also for your linear solvers. You need to increase your loops to stabilize the solution and so on. So with that, I conclude. We study a lot, and honestly, what we show you here is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, we, there is a lot more to cover, but I think you have a at this point you should have a very good foundation. Something very important that also we didn't cover much. Uh, programming remember this is an introductory training but programming there is a lot but however as i say that as it is implemented to the open phone you need to program most of the time okay just for very specific things and we i think we using code string and code fix uh, value or code image you, you you can implement easily those boundary condition without now going into all that difficulty of programming in open phone well, this is an introductory train, but also we deliver some advanced models. So here you have a short list, but also you can visit over our uh, website to see now this, this schedule and the upcoming sessions, okay, of the introductory training. So thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you enjoy OpenFun. Bye.